is light down and very good. It's a good start from both Mata and Cog. Getting the bear exit and both of them spun simultaneously. Hang into the camel straight, still going side by side as well. Side by side, into the Kerber Grande. How they gonna keep it side by side with Iceman? Yuri going for the dive bomb. Can he make it work? He's gone off a bit. And look at that. Oh, right here, right now. Otherwise, the other car will not work. It's going to be very, very close. Iceman just gets ahead of Kyle there. Matter comes across the line. And he's your VSL Season 6 champion. Good evening, everybody. And welcome along to VSL. F1 season seven. This is round number five, and we head to a circuit where Jensen Button won in 2011 in dramatic fashion. Is a Canadian Grand Prix, and yes, I am back after a week off. Hopefully, you miss me. If not, then tough. My name is Jess, and joining me in the commentary box is uh, Ren. That how you doing? How do you do? Uh, it's nice to have you back, Jess. Um, I'm doing very well, thank. Is how is you? Great to get some action around Canada. First used in Formula 1 in 1978. It was actually named by Jules Verneuve, who actually won uh, many times around here as well. And plenty of drivers who I think could potentially do well around here. Iceman as well set the, the flat record around here um, out of all the drivers. But you never know, there could be some... Uh, last minute surprises. We have one reserve in tonight, and that is Vitinho in the Red Bull. I can't remember who he's replacing. He's replacing Yuri tonight, so uh, as Yuri can't make it. But apart from that, we have all other drivers here. I think we're missing one one other driver tonight. I think there's none of the reserves can make it. But we are starting with a dry qualifying session, which is a, which is a relief. It's one. It's a short. Lap, which we could expect to be high 108, high 109. And the infamous Wall of Champions is going to be uh, in everyone's minds tonight. In particular, Mata, who won uh, VSL last season. Mm. Indeed. Um, I've just had some insight looking at the chat and the saying it is going to be a wet race. Ooh. So I doubt we'll see any medium runners. But um, I think the driver we're missing tonight is Jamie, isn't it? That's the one. What yeah. time the driver not got here tonight, is it? I think yeah. it might. I think it might be Jamie. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, but hey ho, nine drivers. Still a good amount of drivers to uh, entertain us with tonight as well. So after last week, we saw Sam that's leading the championship. We'll go through the championship standings during our two-minute breaks. Obviously, the, the drivers uh, can't ready up at that time anyway. So a few other corners to watch out for as well. The hairpin is. Uh, uh, Carl is demonstrating right now into turn 10 and 11. We've seen quite a few incidents in the past around here in some VSL races as well. Uh, the, you could lose the rear of the car around here, especially on the curbs as well. So um, we'll see how many drivers fare that tonight. And yeah, nobody is on the medium. So even if you didn't tell me what the weather was going to be, um, I would have predicted it was going to be a wet race, even with those. Because, but if it was going to be a dry race, it would have been a two-stop, soft, medium, medium. Um, one stop is just not viable around it, even though they can do one stop. Um, it's a lot faster. It's cards already in the wall um, in uh, terms two and uh, yeah, turn two. So I've all the person I went on board with has binned it. So let's go on board with someone else. Fantastic start, Kyle. Well done indeed. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you and everyone watching. This is the first time I've actually seen this track on the F1 2021 game. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm interesting to see how the curves are like at the last chicane, you know, the famous wall of champions. So, who's going to be a champion and bin it in the wall? Kyle did it the wrong wall, so he's not a champion, I'm afraid. Sorry to let you down, Kyle. <laughs> well, he's not even a VSL champion, so technically he's not a champion. Yeah, who needs Jacko Card champion when you can be a VSL champion? Exactly. There we go. The banter is already happening on stream, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Um, you know, it, it is quite cool like that. It is quite cool. So, um, Deck is uh, starting his lap as well. And I think we've got another Aston Martin starting his lap. So, 1.0.10.3 for Deck. And then we've got Risky that just set a lap time, 109.871. So, we're getting close to the time predictions that, uh, that the drivers have uh, been practicing. We've got an Alfa Romeo 
um, of Hayden. The first time I've seen him in the wild going in, he does unfortunately invalidated. We have got Pete coming across the line. He has not invalidated, but he can't. 110.000. And he is on the mediums. Okay, so that's interesting that three people have gone out for the mediums. Did they check the hmm. weather forecast, maybe? or? I mean my intel came from Patino. It says wet race. So I don't know if that's interpreting that it's going to be wet like after the race start. But there is 100% chance of rain. Hayden said it in, in the YouTube chat there was going to be a full wet race. So if Patino and Hayden both say it was going to be wet, then I think we strongly believe that both of them. Remember 2011 where it was uh, changeable conditions there as well. Um, and literally anyone could win that race. I'm sure we're going to have something similar here today as well. There's been further modifications to this circuit in uh, recent times. Initially, the pits was located directly after the hairpin at the, the north end of the course, but then they had to move it and a new pit facility was built there. And then further modifications to the final she came before the new pits was conducted after Derek Warwick crashed heavily during practice for 1988 race. And then in 95, the heightened safety consciousness post center death era, they had to change quite a few things there as well. And there was more change in 2002 where the turn 10 hairpin was also taken further back towards the turn 8, 9 chicane, allowing the runoff as we know today. And also NASCAR raced around here before. Chat, uh, I've never heard of some of these other um, series I won't mention. And of course, Formula One as well. So. Matt is on a lap, but he's on the medium, so I don't really want Matt to go on board with a hot lap on the medium, so we'll wait until he's on the soft. Matt yeah. comes across the line, and it is going to be 110.8, which puts him in P8. So currently, Panos, who I'm tipping to do well in this race, currently sitting P1 at the moment, Risky in second, and our current championship leader in third with a 109.878. So... Uh, Still time to be found, but don't forget they're still on high fuel loads at the moment. Oh yeah, and the track still has a bit of time to rub it in. As Panos set another fastest lap of 109.4 on the same tyres. Uh, that doesn't prove the track's rubbering, then I don't know what. Hmm, maybe. So as the track starts to get more grippy, yeah, the, the better lap times. Or maybe the track temperature has uh, increased or cooled down ever so slightly. We don't know, but uh, we're seeing Kev just about to finish his lap on the medium compound tyres. Maybe the mediums is just for them to get a bit of a feel for the track necessarily. They don't really want to be using their soft tyres out the way because if they bin it on their soft runs then they don't have enough softs to complete their final run. But sometimes you would want to have start on the softs right away because if you bin it on your final lap then that's it. And that is why we're seeing the likes of Pete on two lap old mediums but he's going into the pits and I do believe he's going to select the soft compound tyres as well. And Kev has not set a representative lap time, but um, he's gone already for about 1.5 seconds quicker than his previous first sector as he heads towards, um, I'm just trying to think what corner it is, turn uh, eight, I believe, and now heading towards the king of turn nine. Iceman, the Canada merchant in his lobby, is currently sitting provisional by 109.2. And uh, Kev has gone eight seconds faster than sector two. So that was, I think, sector two was where, where we binned it earlier. So, but he's looking a bit more comfortable Ooh, heading towards. Oh, there's a few people struggling, I think, at the moment around here. And I love Canada on this game more than more than any other game. But I know some drivers don't. It was almost an invalidation for Kev. He's got to be careful. He comes across the line and is going to be a 111.8, which only puts him... 13 fastest, but on the mean, that's not too bad. Who else is on the lap? We've got a Red Bull of Fettinho, and we also got a Williams as well. Um, he might be on his out lap, though, but Fettinho comes across the line, and it is going to be a 112.1. So not the fastest I've seen him. I know he can go quicker, and I know uh, new guard, uh, Tony, yeah, I think it is Matt, I think, who set a lap, but he did not improve. He was three temps down, so... He currently stays in P9. Interestingly, they're still doing the tactic of staying out, but I'm guessing not many drivers have practiced. Usually that's a sign if they're on three lap old memes. That's a sign that they haven't done much uh, practice, maybe. But we'll see. Maybe, yeah. I was just going with Patino's lap. Um, at exit of nine, he literally half spun, so there's no surprise there. He was 
Well, this is a second to gain on Vitinho's lap, so he may be staying out to do one more lap, but the Aston Martin of Risky is currently on the lap, see if we can maybe have an Aston Martin 1-2, but Panos always pulls something out of the bag, so keep an eye on Panos. Yeah, I think a few people took advantage of last week in Baku, if you watched last week, um, of people crashing, and that allowed some people to make their way up the order, of course, and I know Risky would want to have a better result then last week, as he comes towards um, the final few corners of turn 13 and 14, almost hits the wall of champions as he comes across the line. 109.598, he's two tenths faster than his previous best, does not beat Panos and does not make it an Aston Martin 1 2 yet. Panos is about, is, uh, about to start his flying lap at the moment. I'm, I was on board with Risky actually, he was fastest in the final sector, so his final sector is quickest out of anyone. Peach has yeah. passed the hairpin of turn 10 and 11. And don't forget, there's a DRS straight coming up here. There's quite a few DRS zones. There's three in total. One between turn 7 and 8. One at the start, finish straight. And then one between turn... the Well, just at the start of turn 12 and turn 13 as Peach has gone past. Now, Peach's lap is looking actually pretty good. As he comes across the line, 109.635. Three tenths quicker than his previous best. Just beat his teammate by about... One temp as uh, his teammate goes quicker. And anyone else about to finish a lap? I think one of the Williams is. Or someone has spun. That's a Haas. Um, but Ryan Berry goes seventh fastest. So times are ramping up a little bit as uh, Risky is going again. Nope, he's going into the Panos pit. About to finish this lap here. Panos is the current. Ooh, a bit deep. Oh, that was a bit too deep into the final corner. I don't think it's going to be Paul. But saying that, he'll probably prove me wrong. He could have been yeah. in the 108s for that lap if he didn't go too deep into that final um, corner. But, just, yeah. Sorry, yes. the, uh, just going back on Risky's lap, the sheer commitment he had in the last corner, he absolutely sent it. And no surprise, he has the fastest last sector. Um, he rode a lot of curbs, so I don't know if his car is a lot softer, which allows him to ride curbs a bit more. But, um, yeah, Panos, easily another two to three tenths to find after that last corner. Definitely, and I think one thing that we forgot to mention as well, that if Hayden and Vitinho are right, which they should be, because if not, then they owe me and Matt a pizza, um, they may have a wet setup on their car, so their lap times may not be faster than what they see in time trial, because in time trial they have dry setups as someone has gone for a spin in the Ferrari, move out the way, my friend, and he does, which is good. But yeah, all, pretty much all these drivers, if they look to the weather forecast, will have wet setups on if it's a full wet race. So that is something to take into consideration. We may not see everybody in the 108s or 9s more than anything. We may just see people a little, a few temps slower than what they are normally in the dry. So uh, that is something to consider. That's why a few more people are struggling because you can't have a dry setup on a wet race. It's just difficult. If someone has retired in the session, that is new garden. I don't know why. He's retired in the pit, so now he's coming out on track. His AI has now decided to come out on track when he's retired. So I'm going to ride on board with Ahmed as Ben apparently sets... Oh, yeah. For some reason, I thought someone was in the 108. Yeah, Pan uh, Ben's now just gone quickest. Yeah, new garden is retired at the side of turn two. Yeah, oh, and uh, Ahmed has uh, binned his in lap, I believe, but unless he, at least he gets to go again on, on, on another lap soon. He, he, he doesn't have long to get into the pits, my friend, so as long as he gets into the pits within a few minutes, he should be absolutely fine as well. Lee is another driver I think who needs to step up his game this week. He hasn't set a representative lap time yet as well. We do have a full lobby now. Cliffy has joined, uh, and uh, I have to say, I've seen his onboard laps around... Canada and he is quick so watch out for him but I've spoken to him before and he's not as confident so uh, maybe he's playing down his expectations so we were we were 19 at the start of the lobby now we're on 20 with uh, Cliffy that's just joined and he's already getting some laps in straight away and uh, he's already looking confident um, through the throttle as he makes his way towards turn seven he's purple in set to one um, but he's going to start set, set to two very badly as he's binned it. So uh, an early trip to the pits for him. Yeah, Matt has just been held up on his hot lap here by Maverick, who I think is a debutant. 
tonight, but I think Maverick's actually on a hot lap too, so... No, he's it, invalidated Maverick. Has he? Yeah, Maverick isn't backing out, so I don't think Matt is going to be too happy about this. Yeah, Ma Matt is not going to be happy one bit, so I think that will definitely get investigated. That will be Can't investigated be. by uh, the stewards after the race, because qualifying incidents can be investigated, of course. So Matt uh, will have to set a lap one final time. And uh, Mav uh, Maverick, I think we'll have to go into the pits very quickly. So will Cliffy come in? Because I think he must have got severe damage. Yes, he does come in. I wonder if he's going to do a last to first challenge. I won't be surprised if he does that. Yellow flag in set to do. That's just probably one of the Alpines or Williams moving out of the way. Yes, it is Ryan Berry moving out of the way for Lee, even though Lee's on his inlet. But common courtesy of course they, they're, they're both doing a gentleman's favor they both think that they're on their flyers but they're not but that's the way to do it sometimes you're not sure move out of the way anyway and uh you won't get penalized simple as that so everybody i think we've got panels hayden kyle and uh we've got ryan berry as well they're about to start their final laps early on but at least to get the track to themselves and they don't have to worry about the traffic going in at the end of the pit lane hopefully and i can't see how long we got left in the session because there's still yellow flags in set to three so i think someone might have run out of fuel that's probably why it's still yellow flag in set to three but hey ho as uh, i think tony is gonna uh, be the panos. oh i think it was panos who's invalidated turn one early place to invalidate to be honest hopefully uh, and don't forget, it is a four-wet race, so you won't be using the soft tyres at the start. So if I was him, it'll be too late to go into the pits and then set one final lap because it's too... You can't do that. So he may save a bit of battery, which he's doing at the moment, but then he'll go and uh, for one final push lap and he, and he knows that he can uh, go out again knowing that the softs won't be in use in the race. See what Kyle can do. He's just about to end his middle sector because of 109.6. He can go quicker than that, can Kyle, and yeah, he's improving, but really, not by much. He doesn't seem to have as much confidence around here, does Kyle, and I found on this year's game, I don't think he's managed to get a, a hold of how the handling works on this game, because on last year's game, he was rapid, but I don't know if he's struggling this year. Yeah, he might be as well, and Kyle, there is a track where he doesn't like, and he feels like he made mistakes, and he's had a... Um... Flash, horrible flashbacks to a certain league that had a bit of a issue in the pit lane. Not gonna say too much about where he'd been, uh, where he'd been to that. So um, probably in those memories are coming back to bite him right now, as he currently sits in P6 at the moment. As a uh, oh, Flex has only binned it on his outlap. That's that. That's fine. He's only invalidated on his outlap. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm just seeing who uh, who's going to actually start a lap as Carl is uh, going quicker oh. as a Hayden out of nowhere. A 109.115. Could we see a shock pole position? But with a full work race, we could see a shock race. But I was not expecting um, a shock pole position. That will put Panos in under huge pressure because he thinks, hang on, I shouldn't be the one in third. I should be the one on pole position because... He is closing up to the likes of Mata and Satam in the championship. So let's see how he handles the final sector. Looking good so far. Wall the champions. He manages that just fine. This is going to be really good. Could he be in the first man in the 108? Oh, 109.0. Very, very close. But not close enough. And uh, Panos. Uh, someone's invalidated. Who's invalidated? Uh, Iceman. Iceman, Iceman could not improve, so he's not going to get pole. Um, I'm just trying to see who could go quicker. Maybe Pete, maybe. Um, unless he's going slower, ready for one push lap. He could go for one push lap, so keep an eye out on him. Uh, what about our championship leader? He's going through sector two. I'm just trying to see anyone that's uh, about to cross the line. It might be Matter, actually, our current championship leader. Well, no, not current championship leader, our reigning champion, sorry. P4, so we can't beat um, Panos this time right now. We also got Deck and Ryan Berry. First man into the 108, Cliffy. And he, you know, he, he, did, he, oh, he did it good when it counted. And that's one lap. It's kind of like one shot qualifying for him. And that was crazy for him. And uh, we've got Panos going in 
to the pit. Iceman crosses the line anyway because it's quicker to do that than go into the pit. Risky, his teammate, can he go any better? 109.8, so he's two tenths down. Matt Ryan, the creator of the VSL Bingo. He comes across the line. And it is a P15 for him. And uh, we've got Patinio coming across the line. He's invalidated. That's it, I think. Unless Kyle can pull a miracle. No, he's slowing down. So Cliffy, our reserve driver, is on pole position by just under one temp. Wow. Well, less but than one temp. I mean, Cliffy just joins the session late and the rocks up and goes, oh, hi, guys, pops it on pole. Like, <laughs> just like, to have that skill just to literally pop in and be like, oh, hi, guys, Let's just, I'll just take pole position from y'all. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice lap there from Cliffy. Um, I was trying to find when Matu was on a lap, but every time I was riding on ball with him, he kept down with traffic. Oh, he's not really been a clean qualifying from our reigning champion. Nope, it's not. And if he wants to defend his champion in VSL, he, def he, he, he definitely doesn't want to do that by qualifying in fifth. He wants to remain consistent. But anyway, your pole man, Cliffy, by one tenth of a second, um, with Panos in second, Hayden in third, Iceman in fourth, Matter in fifth, Flexi in sixth, Kyle in seventh, Risky in eighth, Pete in ninth. Tony in 10th, then we've got Ahmed in 11th, Ryan Berry in 12th, then we got Deck, Patino, Matt Ryan, Lee, Mike, Kev, Maverick, and then New Garden. New Garden and Maverick did not set a lap time. And before we start the race, gives us a great chance to talk about our sponsors, Rogue Energy, which you can find on their website, rogueenergy.com, and you can use the code VSLF1 for 10% off their products. So make sure you check it out. VSL is sponsored by Rogue Energy. And we've also got the driver's standings up for you. We've got Sam, who is currently leading the way with 75 points. Matter in second on 60. Panos third on 59. Ryan Berry fourth on 41. Carr is fifth on 35. Deck is 6th on 31. Tony is 7th on 27. And uh, we've got Jamie, our reserve, on 26. Iceman in 9th on 20, joint with Cliffy. And then we've got Pete on 18. Kieran on 15. Yuri on 13. Hayden on 12. Risky on 11. Kev on 10. Rutinio on, on, on 10 as well. Newgarn on 10. Lee on 9. And Mike with 5. And then we got Ahmed and some another and some more other drivers who haven't scored many points this season in there too. And the constructors championship. I was about to go to my Elgato, but realised I haven't talked about the constructors. Here we go. Williams are leading on 111 points. McLaren in second on 93. Alpine third on 68. While joint third with Ferrari. Alfa Romeo fifth on 57. Aston Martin sixth on 51. Red Bull seventh on 23. Mercedes 8th with Mercedes along with Haas, 20 points. And Temp is Albert Tauri with only 1.2 their name. So that is the Drivers and Constructors um, Championships before tonight. This was uh, um, after Baku. And the Intermediate Tyres, if should they use those, will be last 19 laps. The four wet last 24 laps. And if it's going to be a four wet race with the four wet tyres used for the entirety, it's going to be a one stop race. But you can, in theory, if you wanted to, go for the whole race if you wanted the game all at you. But I don't think you can do that in terms of the lifespan. So four wets will last 24 laps, the same amount of time as the medium compound of tyres. And there's already a lot of standing water on the track. So I wouldn't want to be those drivers racing tonight. Uh, not at all, but looking at uh, spectator camera, the moment we can see, it looks like it's full wet, it's not just intermediate, it's full wet. So um, we could be wrong because we've known on spectator cam it looks wetter than it actually is, so we'll just have to wait and see. It'll be interesting to see what start drivers can get and see if it can keep it out of the barrage, but I can guarantee there will be a safety car. There That's was quite a few safety cars last season when I I think it was raining for a bit. I think it was uh, changeable conditions, I think, in Canada. There was being about two or three 
safety cars as well. And I was thinking there was a few drivers that got lapped too. So uh, it always spices things up when the weather is thrown into the mix. There may be some people that are bad in, a, bad in the wet and good in the dry. But there might be some people who hate the dry but love the wet. To be honest on this game for me, apart from the likes of Singapore and Monaco and Baku, I like the wet on this game. It's very, very nice. But they're just, just certain tracks where I absolutely hate it. So the drivers are about to get started with their formation lap. The brollies are up. I've got mine up as well. He's absolutely Ooh, chucking it down. Don't do it inside. That's bad luck. Uh, yeah, well, 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 I was only joking. Vigorous speech. Vigorous <laughs> speech. Anyway, we have got the tyres up and no surprise, everyone's on the same. So it's going to be the first race in a while where everyone's going to be on the same starting tyre, same starting strategy. So... Who knows what could happen as well. Turn one is going to be a nightmare in the wet conditions. That's one of the action zones which I highlighted earlier on. One of the most prominent overtaking zones around this lap. And could often be, as Matt Ryan has got disqualified, tucked up. From the formation lap, not from the, 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 the race, of course. But um, as uh, people like to take risks, there could be some in, 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 um, incidents involved. So uh, the drivers have been warned to break a little bit earlier into turn one. And they should be absolutely fine as well. So, uh, but yeah, that's going to be very, very tricky when uh, there's rain involved. But it's hard to predict with this wet weather who I think is going to win at this race. So I'm not going to say anything. You guys can say in chat and I'll blame you if you jinx the drivers. Um, guys in chat, just let us know. Very, very wet out there. I'm glad I'm uh, not feeling I a... think Cliffy's already keyed to get this race underway by the looks of things. And... There's a few drivers that haven't even made it past turn eight yet. So the drivers are going to be there for a long while. And I think about Matt Ryan and Lee being disqualified, Matt, their tyres are going to be super cold. And especially on this game and last game, if you don't warm your tyres up in the wet, um, you're going to probably end up in this thing like straight away. So uh, good luck to Matt Ryan and Lee. And also good luck to the leaders as well. There's going to be waiting a long time for some of the drivers to get going. I reckon we'll be seeing a lot of um, speeding in the pit lane incidents as well because you have to like break just as you're going into the last corner as well. So I wonder if any driver is going to try and forget about that and just speed into the pit lane because I for sure struggle to actually keep within the speed limit of the pit lane here. Me too. Me too. Um, I got I had a speeding in the pit lane penalty for um, in, in my team in Canada. But there were flashbacks, so I cancelled that. Um, but there's no flashbacks here, so if you get a speeding in the pit lane penalty in VSL F1, you you get it. End of, end of story, and it won't get removed. That's the only five-second penalty that can't get removed. So, five red lights are coming on, hopefully, very, very soon. Yes, they do. Five red lights are on. Round five of VSL is about to get underway right now. And let's see what the start line is like. Panel's actually got Ooh. a much better start than Cliffy in the turn one. Let's see what the windy turn one and two is going to be like. Don't forget there's puddles. So people may go wide a little bit as they head towards turn two and three. Looks pretty clean so far. They must be following our advice in terms of uh, keeping it steady. But what about heading in towards turn four? Oh, as Panel's has cut the corner there. That's going to be a warning. He's probably going to let Cliffy through, which he does. We may fight uh, Cliffy heading in towards turn six and seven. Hayden actually had a good start as well, but there's a few people that's dropped places. Matt Ryan, he's looking to go on the left-hand side of Ryan Barry heading through, se who turns seven. Can he hold his nine? No, he's got to, because I know Ryan Barry wants that position so badly. And he covers him off, Matt Ryan. Oh, he cuts the corner again. Surely he's got to let him through as well, which he does as well. Otherwise, an illegal overtake. But surprisingly, a very decent start from, well, clean start from everybody. And it only has the rain to uh, uh, thank for that as well, because obviously I keep a caution in the rain. And Ryan Berry is up to 12th now. A great start from Matter, though, is um, Risky already trying to break the toe of Matt there, but Risky making up two positions there, one of our highest gainers, the joint highest gainer with Matt Ryan there in P13 as Matt almost loses the rear out of the wall of champions, so it's all about patience right now, just try and keep it on the track and wait for the conditions to improve. If it does improve, because the conditions at the moment in Canada look horrible, I wouldn't want to be there right now as Patino is having a, 
um, climbing up places. Matt Ryan is struggling out there with his stroke and Alpha Tower in. He's got leads, potentially go for the move as well. So you can see who is made for the condition. News not. And another Ferrari that's cut the corner in uh, turn four and five there. So there's a lot of side by side battling happening actually with Maverick and Kev as uh, Maverick's up into P18. Two seconds down the road of Mike, but Kev could fight back, actually. This is the corner where we've seen uh, the likes of uh, uh, Matt Ryan and Ryan Berry fight earlier, but it looks like Maverick and uh, oh, as, uh, the lobby host has left the session. That's not good. Hopefully no desyncing issues as uh, Kyle gets past the Ghost of Risky. Luckily, ghosting is on in this league, so if someone leaves the session due to disconnections, then they should be fine as Panos is finding a good gap to Cliffy actually but he can't close in because there's no DRS um, enabled in the wet weather so Ooh. has yellow flag that's Kev Kev's binned it past 10 10 and 11 yeah it looks like he's tried to get into the power and has lost a rear then Fortress so he's going to have to try and gain ground once again Yeah, he's just not he's just not liking the conditions, isn't he? He's, he was not doing the rain dance. I'm sure certain drivers were doing the rain dance and it kind of paid off for them. But we'll see as Kev gets a three-second time penalty for his troubles and he goes into... Oh, he bins it in the final corner. Um, What is he doing? It, I wonder if he's got wheel issues or his tyres are probably like 900 degrees right now probably stalking hot and with uh, he, hardly any traction it's not going to work as uh, Vitinio is looking to cast the ghost of Risky as well he's up to a level we got Ahmed in there for company as well he's going to get a bit of a toe for Risky so that's going to help as well we got Sam actually Flexi in the the inside of Ahmed. Ahmed's going to go for a move then Oh, here we go, Jack. Is he going to hold it? Oh, they oh. make contact. That's not what you want to do, my friend. And there's a big pile up at the back. Surely that's a safety car. That's got to be a safety car or a VSC because there's quite a few debris. And, you know, he just that's definitely going to be looked into the streets because they lost a chunk of time. I do not know whose fault was that because my camera did not check that. But Ahmed has dropped way down now oh. and... That is a shame. Look for me, really, Deck like, tried to go on the inside, get onto the traction run, but at the same time, not really leave enough room. Who was it, the other Mercedes? It was um, Ahmed. I don't think there was a lot of room left there, really, Ahmed could argue, but I don't know. I think after we watched the incident back again of both their onboards, but for me, it looked like Deck squeezed him a little bit, but because of the nature of that exit, you, it, like you're trying to apply the throttle whilst going around another corner, so... It, I don't know, I'll have to watch that again as I've heard it, but at the moment it looks like Deck didn't leave him enough room. Um, by the way, Matt, Risky would want an invite to the lobby, please. Thank you, thank you. So he's just, he's just uh, told me as uh, Kev has retired from the session, and I can't tell if it's that in the pit or not. Um, or he can, I might be stage three, I don't know. Yes, it is in the pits because there's no safety car. Cliffy still leads by five tenths of a second to Panos in second. Hayden in third as uh, Kev leaves the session in disgust. Flexi in fourth and we've got oh, we've got Matu and Sam going for a move there. Matu's got a defense to the attack to the left. Oh, there's a bit of contact there. Banging wheels. Iceman could play a backseat role into this as well. Same could Carl actually. This could be a four-way battle for, I would say, P4 at the moment. Um, and uh, uh, I believe Matt's games crashed, which is uh, kind yeah. of annoying. So I'll probably have to send him an invite as well. So I'll do that in just a second. But there's still a battle going on. Very, very tight. Carl is going to try and go for the move on Iceman. Again, a bit of a touch there. It's struggling these conditions to make moves at the moment. So you've got to be... Committed. If you go for the move, you have to. Um, as uh, we've got Carl that stays in seventh. Could Matter gain a few attempts in the hairpin? We'll have to wait into turn ten. Does he fully commit this time? No, he does not. He stays on the back of them at the moment. 
At least I don't have DRS to worry about. So if you just give me a second, I'm going to invite both Risky and Redmat to the session. So apologies if you can't see any. Oh, I can't yeah. invite. Yeah, it said error occurred, then it crashed my game. So I hope it doesn't do it for you. I, so can't, I, can't, I can't invite because the game group is closed, apparently. Ah. So, ah, okay. yes. I don't know what's happened there. Why I can't invite Risky? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be frustrating, very frustrating. But I've got a plan B, so Matt can still see my screen, hopefully. So uh, just give me a moment. It will have to be in 30 frames per second, because otherwise my stream is gonna go um, absolutely crazy at the moment. Um, technical difficulties live on stream, folks. You, 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 you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, hopefully you can see my screen, Matt. I can see, I can see it, yeah. Brilliant. So at least he could uh, see the action there as well. We, we always like to think of plan B to a VSL. Hopefully it doesn't uh, mess up with my bitrate. But if it does, I'll just have to turn down the quality of some sort. But we'll, we'll see. Well, on six for 35 anyway. And uh, I think we're seeing Maverick going into the pit. Dex also in the pits to change his front wing. He's on the full wet. Obviously, he can't go on any other tar at the moment. I'm just looking at the ERS map. Everybody's on around about the 70%. And I, I found on this game in the wets, it's kind. It, it, it doesn't use up as much your battery in, in the in the full wets. No, it doesn't really. And it's been like in many games as well. Where if you're using your ERS, it's easy to recoup it back to the batteries in the wet because you're constantly like feathering the brake as well as the throttle. So um, you're not really using as much like compared in the dry, which I believe it's, I can't remember the percentage full throttle around here, but it's quite hard to manage the ERS if when it is dry and we've got yellow flags. That is, um, I don't know. That is a McLaren, I think. Uh, that could be, well, actually no, it's not a McLaren. But it was somewhere in that area, it might just be bit of an issue but we do have one yellow flag that is Mike that's had a bit of a spin they're liking the spin I think and turn around the turn four area don't they they just uh, they just get on the power too early to be to be fair I do that on this game quite a lot around tracks such as Ca Canada Hungary as well where I, I spin quite a lot so not really surprised in particular in these wet conditions panels could not close in on Cliffy at the moment Closest battle on track is between the two Alpine drivers, I'm sure. Hopefully the team boss let them race, but if I was them, I would let them race. Anyway, as it's too early in the season to imply team orders, but um, it may get to that situation later on in the season where maybe the one furthest in the championship may be forced to let someone else through, but they are allowed to race. Virginia is also in the back of this as well. Don't forget he is a reserve driver for this league, but he's doing quite well. And don't forget the top 12 do score points in this league. It's not the top 10. So every point count as long as you finish the course. Yeah, it's really frustrating that not being in the session because I can't even look around on the game to see where other battles are happening on track. And currently I'm watching a stream that's like in eight frames per second right now. But that's nothing you can do. As we look further down, Ahmed and Mike seem to be battling or the Haas um, pitted. Yeah, the Haas has pitted. So... Again, I'm just going for what I'm seeing, what you lot are seeing on screen as well. So you just have to persevere for today, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it, it's it's annoying that we can't. We, I, 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 I've never experienced that glitch in my life that you can't invite because the game group is closed. Uh, that's I, just that's just. It might be because that it's a closed group. Uh, I I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because the um, risky was it risky who left risky left and he was the host, so maybe. It's... Ah, right. Okay. Uh, I, I, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So, uh, um, risky was actually meant to race as well, and he's not gonna. We tried. We tried. Uh, Matt tried getting him back in. I tried getting him back in, and no luck. So. Yeah, risky. I tried inviting you, and you crashed my game. So. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yes, and it just doesn't, doesn't, the game just doesn't like Risky at the moment, doesn't <laughs> No, not one bit. 
No, but hey ho. Um, but if it was a dry session, people would have probably pit for the mediums now. But since it's a wet session, they're staying out for a little bit longer. Don't forget, these tyres can last for about 24 laps. And the warmer the tyres get in the wet, the much better it becomes in terms of grip and potentially getting moves done. So I think drivers will start to be a little bit more comfortable, just like Panos is right now, currently sitting in P2. Um, I might see if I can change to 60 frames per second because otherwise it may be a bit choppy. So I'll do that once we've seen this battle as uh, Panos is uh, seeing if he could get a move into turn final corner. As he uh, is looking quite comfortable at the moment. He's lost a bit of time in, in that exit at the moment. So he's getting a bit on straight lines. So this could be the move he's looking for. Send the fastest lap of the session. So he is quicker than Cliffy. But he just can't get past unless Cliffy Cliffy's trying to leave the space on panel so Cliffy knows that he's there but he just can't get past unfortunately yeah it's just a nature there's no DRS now yeah uh, just, so I'm, just, I'm just changing the stream no, no, quality I'll, just give me a second it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference Jessica because discord is being discord yeah Unfortunately, it, 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 it is like that when I watch streams on Discord as well. Even though it's good on their end, on my end, it's just choppy. So, apologies <laughs> that you have to live with us. Pete goes into the pits. That is early. I wonder if I change a front wing. I will have to check the pit stop. Now I have to look at race director because I'm the only commentator in the session. Yes, it is a front wing change. All four pit stops in this race is for front wind damage so I wonder where he picked that it was probably the yellow flag caused in turn 7 earlier which brought out the need for Pete to pit I think so yeah he's 12 seconds down from Lee but if he finishes where he is now he's in the points so he can't complain yeah sorry I do apologise I'm sorting try, still trying to join the session but I think I've got to pick it up here but um, yeah Closest battle on track at the moment, looking at the um, Deltas, is Iceman and Kyle, actually. Kyle looks like he's actually really close now. They're going side by side, I believe. Yes, they are. And Kyle stick it around the outside. Can he get the throttle down? That's all. Are we still going side by side? We are indeed. Can he go around the outside? He does indeed. What a move there, son. I hope that can now get you up the field and on to Amata, who just hasn't had the pace on this year's game so far. No, he's not. And he's already catching up to Sam, though. But again, he, I don't think he'll just get past him. There's still a lot of standing water. Maybe he just doesn't like the rain on this game so far. So I think we could see. I know it may be too early to tell, but I think we may see a new champion. But I'm not going to say anything more. Now, I'm just looking at Matter's ERS. He's using way more ERS than anybody else. Same with Carl as well. Iceman's on 70, and he's on the back of him. So... You could see another move from the Merchant of Iceman, who is looking for a statement to climb higher in the championship and help Aston Martin beat Williams. But if Iceman, you know, Risky's not in the session anymore, it's Iceman that's going to be the sole point scorer so far. It's going to be harder than it looks, I think, as we are on, I believe, lap 12 out of 35 now. Cliffy leads by one point five seconds. Ryan Berry and Tony are fighting once again. And we could see another move maybe from Ryan Bay to get into eighth place potentially. Some inter-team rivalry going on between the two of them as they make their way towards turn one. Again, not quite close enough. Penalties could come into effect here. It's like a penalty central trap, but around these wet conditions, it's a lot harder to get penalties. Peter's got a three-second time penalty, and I'm just seeing Ryan Berry getting so squirmy on exit, which was not good at all. I'm surprised we haven't seen any safety cars yet. And it won't yeah, on lap 12. Said it. Touch wood. I'm touching <laughs> wood. But, um, I'm just going on about Cliffy, who's just set the um, fastest lap of the race, actually. Now he's trying to create a gap on Panos now. Is this a sign that track conditions are improving a little bit? Or is just a dry line appearing on the track? So um, if it is drying, I'm guessing drivers will risk going on to intermediates. But let's we'll have to wait and see, because I don't think the wet tyres wear that much. I no, I don't. I don't think so either. Um, but I did say it was going to be full wet for the entire race. But I'm not entirely sure. We don't get proper 
weather forecast um, sent to us, but um, I don't think it might be improving just a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to warrant um, any change of tyres or anything like that, so there's no way anyway. Ryan buried in the pits, and I believe it will be for another set of four wets. That could potentially get to the end of the race. He's on got the yellow warning light as well, so he's got to be a bit wary on fuel. I wonder if some drivers have underfueled their car, thinking it's going to be a safety car due to experience of last the last season where there was like two or three. So, and if there is no safety car, I wonder if they have to do a bit of fuel saving at the end, which is harder on this game. You can't just turn it to lean or put it to rich if you want to burn some fuel. You have to calculate your fuel well, and you got to pretty much fuel as if, it, if there is no safety car. Yellow flag, Ferrari. Um, that's so Lee. Mm. That is turn six and seven where he's binned it, unfortunately. And he's into ah. the grass. He's doing a bad tree bottas, and he's got a three second penalty. Ah, unbelievable. We could argue that he's done that to keep out the way of another driver, but uh, yeah, not not ideal start really for Lee. He, he really is struggling again. Another driver is struggling on this year's game because he used to be rapid on like the earlier F1 games, and now. He's got to get hold of it. And look, his car's all over the place because he's cooked his rear tyres. Yeah, uh, his tyres must be staunching hot, like I said earlier. And if you spin for more than like 5, 10 seconds, then yeah, your tyres are definitely going to overheat. As Fatinho has picked up a penalty. Every time I say there's not many penalties, they now get penalties. So I won't say any more about penalties and hopefully they'll stop getting penalties now. Oops, I said the P word again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to be my fault if they get the P word, but... There we go, not saying anything more as Panos got one. So if it, if it stands, Cliffy would get the win and Hayden would get P2. I have to say Hayden is holding his own out there in a net P2 right now. He's qualified quite well. He even said in the chat, um, I'll get the chat up and you can probably see if you're watching this live. Um, I do recommend you do watch it live because that is where you get the better experience. And he said to me, I'm happy with that lap and he's happy with these conditions as well i thought he would struggle a bit more due to the lack of experience but he's showing the the, the bad boys how to how to do it in these wet conditions and uh he's 4.3 seconds clear of flexi at the moment so if he keeps up his pace and saves his fuel then he's on for a good result yeah i must admit if i was in their shoes i would have actually taken some off fuel out of the car but again we thought in monaco ah there'll be a safety car there'll be a safety car there wasn't so I don't know what it is about this league, like drivers like actually retiring in safe locations. Like it's on increase, I think, is the safety car as well in the lobby settings and the safety car just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, it's like um, I was I was I was racing in Monaco, I think the same week as VSL, I think the day before, and there was many times, it was on simulation damage by the way, where we thought, surely there's gotta be a safety car when there was a big crash, and there wasn't. And there was only one in the whole race, and I think it was lap 20-something, I can't remember, which baffles me to this day, even though it was on, on increase. So uh, it may just be that Cody's and EA have probably decreased the frequency a little bit, because it might have been a bit too much, but that's something they'll probably think about in future patches. But we'll have to wait and see, of course, as... Let's see, any more battles? Now, I have to be the one that checks battles because I'm the only one in the lobby. Um, which is... It, 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 it's, it's annoying that glitches happen like that, unfortunately. But I think it's a Sony issue, not yep. Cody's issue. Here we go. Here's Virginia on Tony into the hairpin. He looked committed and he was like, right, I'm going for that move. You're not um, letting me pass Sunshine. As uh, Well, you're not going past Sunshine. I'm going through. Panos in the pit, undercut central for Panos so all this trigger Cliffy Hayden Flexi Matter into the pit lane as uh, Panos just gets ahead of ERT Kyle then and I wonder if Tony's going to stay on Virginia's slipstream for the rest of this lap I'm just checking penalties right now they're all on the okay. same apart from Pete Ahmed and Mike who are on 6 and 9 seconds respectively did Panos pit? Yes, he did. Right, okay, I was just looking at 13 second gap between Cliffy and Hayden. All it will take now is a VSC 
As uh, now Sam gets a three second time penalty. So no, there's quicker. loads of penalties that are showing. Lee's got another one. <laughs> yeah, it is easy yeah. to get penalties on this game um, in Canada. I think one, the other the other track is Russia, USA, Mexico. Um, I can't think of Austria. Thanks. I think. Uh, 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 I can't think of any other tracks, but these are the tracks that I know is hard. It's easy to get penalties. Anyway, Panos has gone for the move on Mata, but that's just an easy move because Mata hasn't pitted yet. Uh, and interestingly enough, the top three stay out. And I'm just, I, I, I've got some notes about the pit lane loss around this track. 17 seconds, so um, I'll, I'll just look at the gap to leader actually. If uh, oh, there we go. Uh, the gap between fourth and the leader 17.6 so if he gains five temps Panos will be in the lead of this race so Cliffy ideally needs to pit now he does indeed but I think he's trying to stay out and risk maybe a VSC as we saw another yellow flag in sector two earlier I think that may have been Lee once again it's actually coming up to lap I believe is it Acorn and, and Lee and it probably might be the ghost of Risky as well Ooh. <laughs> yes, there's ghost. There's ghost here. Anyway, uh, so what is Cliffy gonna do then? Because he's seen the gap starting to come down. It's gonna be close between him and Panos. So will Cliffy come in? Yes, he does. I think he saw the gap get intensifyingly close. Because the longer he stayed out, the more that Panos is gonna be ahead of Cliffy. So has Tony. The other Tony picks himself a time penalty. So let's watch Panos then. How he's got to get past sounds, otherwise he's going to get held up. It's going to be quite intense as they head toward the pit exit. And I wonder if Cliffy's going to be ahead. Hayden's in as well. So Panos will need to have the best out lap he can. And Cliffy just, and only just gets ahead. But Sam is fighting Panos and yeah. Sam hasn't boxed. But yeah, Sam will not let him past easy, but never mind, he's just let him pass. Yeah, I wonder if he just wanted to have a big gap between Panos and Cliffy, because the gap now, it was about eight times earlier, is now 2.2. Yeah, because they're two are battling in the championship now, because Panos isn't that far away, actually, from the championship. It's always like Mata, Sam and Panos, so Sam sort of wanted to hold Panos up more, because with them penalties, it would then knock him further down if he's held up because Cliffy is now again 2.3 seconds clear. If anything, I think he's actually gained time now as Cliffy, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he has. He's gained quite a second. Yeah, Can't so go. he needs to find, I think, more time as Pete picks one as well. And I think if a safety car comes into fruition, it's going to benefit the likes of Matter, Kyle, Ryan Berry and uh, Deck and New Garden because they don't pick they haven't picked up any penalties. Now, no, no New Garden. I know New Garden likes to keep it penalty free at the best of times, so he's the one that I think would benefit as well, even though he's in last. I say, actually, safety car won't bring him back in contention because he's already a lap down, so, so it won't benefit him, but it would benefit the guys that are still on the leading lap. As a matter, it's going to try and get past Sam as well. Sam and Matter are braving out the conditions for a few more laps and I wonder if it is already come back to bite them because obviously Cliffy and Pat Noss have already pitted and they're going to be comfortably ahead of the likes of Sam and Matter and Iceman so and uh, Hayden could be catching up soon too soon as well so watch out for Hayden actually in comparison to the likes of Matter and Sam because I think that is the people Hayden's got to consider right now but this could be good for Alfa Romeo in the in, a, in the Constructors' Championship with two of their drivers currently in the top 10 and they're both pitted. Yeah, I was going to say they've been, uh, been quite silent this race, actually just giving out trouble. Sitting there nice and respectably in P6 and P7 as Lee picks up another three-second time penalty. But I think the two ghost cars, I believe, are New Garden and Risky. I don't think New Garden rejoined the session, did he? I don't have a clue. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um... <laughs> Uh, oh, Cliffy's now picked up a three-second time penalty, but I believe Panos has six seconds. So, Correct again, it. that is not... That is uh, it, that is good at the moment for Cliffy that he's just, just got one, as long as he doesn't get any more. But if Sam, if Matter catches up to all of them and gets within three seconds, um, 
matter wins this race. So Cliffy is going to pray that there's no crashes and there's no safety cars. So same with Panos and same with Flexi. Same with, I think, uh, Iceman and Hayden as well. So um, I think they're, they're praying to the the race director god so there's no safety car i kind of wish we could be the ones that control that on the game but unfortunately Cody doesn't give us that power yet kind of wish it does but it does not sadly but uh maybe next game you never know maybe just a a late update potentially but we'll, we'll see we'll see and you know it could change anything these penalties as well and I, I can't even, we can't even check the warnings because obviously I, I don't want to be on race director again, but I think we could see more people go into the pit in a few laps time, or unless they want to brave it out to lap 24 as New Garden's AI, uh, New Garden bot, um, I, I can't actually tell if he's still in the session or not, let's go on board with him actually, as uh, his AI or himself goes out of the pit and he's about to be lapped by Cliffy. And I believe, he, yeah, he's, I think he's ghosted. So he's not in the session. So Mata is in the pit. Sam is in the pit as well for his one and only stop. I kind of wish it was a dry session because that would have brought one stop into a two stop race. But oh well, as Flexi, is he going to come out ahead of Kyle? Maybe it's going to be time to turn two. Kyle's a bit squirmy on exit. So I think this could be a chance for Flexi to get the moon to turn three and four. No, Kyle stays ahead. Kyle's undercut were like a dream. Same with Hayden. Well, unbelievable. We have to realise it would then come to Sam towards the end of the race because Kyle did pit like around, was it four laps earlier? Yeah, looking yeah. at you. There, four laps earlier as Kyle is going at defensive. Here's we have a yellow flag in sector two. That's a Haas. That is Mike. Mike. I believe because it's not Cliffy, I don't think. Yes, it is Mike, turn four. Actually, no, it wasn't turn. Uh, actually, it could be turn four. It is, it is hard to tell. Uh, uh, no, it is not turn four. It was turn seven. Some of the corners look so similar on this game in the way. Uh, but uh, I just kind of wish there was more battles happening at the moment, but due to the fact it's wet, drivers are keeping it more cautious. But tell that to Sam, he's pushing like a madman. Yeah, he's trying everything he can to try and get in front of that Alfa Romeo to sort of limit the damage in the championship because Panos will be gaining a new on the championship the way things are going. But um, I believe Cliffy has three seconds worth of penalties. And I'm not 100% sure. Is there a way to see that on Spectator? Uh, I'm sure. I can see the amount of penalties, yes. I'll get it up on my screen now. Yeah, uh, three seconds between the top leaders and Hayden with a five second time penalty. So if he has to pit again, that will be a five second stop go. So yeah, he'll be trying not to pit again. Yeah, I think if there's a safety car, if I was Hayden, I would box again just to get rid of that five seconds i think same with um the other guys that have a five uh any five seconds i didn't see if anyone else has got any five second penalties or something like that but we're on lap 23 still pretty much the final portion of the race still to go and still quite a few people yet to make their stops stops update only Iceman hasn't made his mandatory stop. Everyone else has stopped at least once. Deck has stopped twice and Mike has stopped three times. But there's still the point for the fastest lap up for grabs. As long as you finish and you're pretty much anywhere really. You don't have to be inside the top 10. So if you finish and get the fastest lap of anyone in the race today, you get two extra points. So I wonder if anyone... I would say Mike, uh, Deck, and maybe Ahmed. If you have nothing to fight for, maybe go for the fastest lap point towards the end of the race. Maybe peer around lap 31 too. Uh, maybe lap 31, because I know some drivers will be lap. Just just get that fastest lap point. Sometimes that's what I had to do in some races if I knew I wasn't going to get a point. But I'm still a bit intrigued as to why Iceman is not boxed. Maybe he wants to have more grip towards the end, but... As I've seen from most drivers, 
the newer the newer the tyres are, the less grip you have at the, at the, st at the start of your stint. So maybe Iceman's made the wrong decision, but we will know very soon if he goes into the pit. Is he coming in? Let's just go on board with him. Pit in the wet, do you? Pardon? You don't I don't think I have pit in the wet, do you? No, you don't. But yeah. the tyres are... Um, I know from experience in the full wet that it doesn't go the full distance, even if you don't have to. So I wonder if Iceman is going for gamble, but if he sees Hayden and Carl catching, he might pit. I don't know. He's probably going to play it by ear at the that. moment as Aiko gets a three second time penalty. The matter on track are looking a bit. Uh, matter and Sam are quite close on track for a couple of off seconds there, but I think. Um, Ben will be looking for a battle as I've just dropped my control. Like that really hurt. Ow. <laughs> I did that on Monday. That that I I I didn't like that one bit. Don't know why. Hey hey. <sighs> but it happens. Oh, Matt's struggling a bit in these conditions. I think um, past turn seven and has a bit of. I think. I wonder if there's a bit of wind there on the game. I don't know if there is a bit of, you can tell if there is a bit of wind, but I don't know, uh, that's probably why a few people might be struggling. I think the temperatures are a lot colder as well, so that their tyres will be cold as well. And yes, the rule is that you do not have to pit in the full wet if you don't want to. But Iceman has disproved our theory and he's decided that he's going to be, you know, I think he saw that Hayden was catching. So he was like, you know what? Not in the wall. Oh, did he hit the wall, did he? No, there was a car in the wall, the blue car. Ah, deck, it's deck. Safety car. After 23 laps, we've got a safety car. So maybe that's why Iceman's boxed, or did he box? Oh, he might have saw a yellow flag and then he was thinking, thinking about not boxing, but he realised he's boxing. So he's still coming out in P7. He's going to be on the fresher grip. Watch out for Iceman at the end of the race. Um... As uh, Ryan Berry, Pete, Tony, what will the guys outside like the top ten think about boxing for the fastest lap? I would. Is Get anyone there is for intermediates? Ooh. No. Everyone that yeah. I just pitted has gone for four works. No, oh, all of you go on intermediates. Go on. Someone go on right. inters. Please. Doesn't look that bad to be fair. It's a lot better than it was, but they're still standing water. So that's probably why they're still on the full wet. So it might be on the cusp actually. So I know Matt Ryan likes to go for bold strategies. Go on. Boo. You traitor. You like go for bold strategies, Matt. Ryan. As oh. Cliffy's in. Interesting. Is he on the full wet? He is on the full wet. He might want to be on the... F but he's a reserve driver and he, he can't become champion unless you're full-time. So why not take the risk? And he's only... He's, but he's got a ghosted car of Lee. And the ghosted cars are not allowed to unlap themselves. So Cliffy's going to be in a pain. And we've got Ice uh, Hayden in. Car oh, no. Double stack central is not working on this game. Ah, Hayden had a five-second stop go, and Kyle went to follow him in. Oh, that's really that's. That's really why teammates work. should work together, and then you don't get those sort of situations. Yeah. But he, he probably would have lost more time if he stayed out. So to be fair, he probably had to go in. But we'll see. As most people on fresh tyres, the only driver that stayed in that we need to worry about is Panos. But. We're seeing the Aston Martin safety car again, which is good. Oh, pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it on this game. It's very nice. I know some people prefer the Mercedes, but... No, no, no. I prefer the Aston Martin, personally. <laughs> and my favourite colour's green. So there we go. Ooh. Green's just nice. Maybe that's probably why uh, VSL's green for me. Joking. Um, <laughs> safety car's gonna, not going to be in for quite a while, as I think we're still waiting for quite a few people to catch up as Matt Ryan is lapped um, but, 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 but I think Pete is the last car on the lead lap I think let me just have a look at oh as Pete has mowed the grass again yes any everyone from 
Matt Ryan downwards is at least a lap down and the ghost cars of Risky and New Garden are two laps down. So the top 11 are um, a lap ahead of everybody else. This could be an interesting safety car restart. Hmm, indeed. I'm just curious now what Cliffy will do. He is on 10 laps younger. Wet tyres. Panos is on 11, so... He's going to do everything he can to remain in front of the Haas car. And then you've got Sam, who's somehow made it up into P3 matter, keeping it clean. So if he keeps within the top three, he could actually steal a podium here. But then again, you've got Ben, who is not that bad around here, so he may feel put a few surprises, but I think it will all come down to penalties, unfortunately. Yep, I think it would. And I did say earlier, if there was a safety car, People with penalties will probably be like, oh no. And watch out for matter. Could be could could it be on for a win in Canada due to the him having no penalties? Well we are running out of laps, so it could happen. Carl has not caught up to the safety car yet, but if he does, and the safety car does not go in this lap. Um Yep, yeah, he's caught up now. But he's uh oh. Uh, Carl, you're not meant to ever take a ghost car. Um, will he get an illegal overtake for that? I don't know. Oh, he's let him through. Okay, that's fine. That is weird, because I think in some cases you're not allowed to do that. Uh, I'm just checking to see if the safety car is going in. No, the safety car light is still on, so it's going to be in for one lap. Oh, yeah, it's still waiting for the likes of Ryan Berry, Tony and Pete to catch up. And I think it's going to get to a point where the game's like, screw it, Pete's too far behind and they're not going to bother. But I think it should be in uh, next lap, I think. So well, ho hopefully Pete can catch up because otherwise Pete's race is going to be uh, an absolute nightmare. Yeah, indeed. I'm surprised he didn't really pit, to be honest with you now, because like he's the last car on the lead lap now. So he's, he's really got nothing to lose now, really, you know, honestly. Apart from him a couple of points, but you can always, well, always try and get fastest lap. But Cliffy on them fresh set of wet tyres, I think he will be the one getting the fastest lap here. But uh, as we wait, I believe a safety car will be in at the end of this lap. But yeah, will Pete pit? I doubt it because he'll need to try and catch up back into the pack. So yeah, how many laps have we got now? Is it seven laps to go? So it's basically going to be. A sprint race as Hayden picks up another five oh, second penalty. Oh, Hayden! Could that be appealed? We'll have to wait and see. So it could be possibly a little desync or just a little nudge. But I think that these type of, I think it it depends on the race director and when we look at their footage, um, it does we can see if we if we can remove that penalty. But we'll find out anyway. Safety car is in this lap, and that means. P is not able to catch up, unfortunately, but at least he doesn't have to worry about the safety car shenanigans and the safety car restart. So in a way, if, if there's a lot of people winning it, he could gain positions at this rate. So let's go on board with Panos, who is going to be our de facto safety car leader. Apart from Sam and Matter, everyone else on newer tyres. So... Here comes Panos, brilliant restart. Everyone else was caught napping. Cliffy just didn't know what to do at that point. So Panos leads then from Cliffy and Sam's got a good restart as well. But he's got to pass the ghost car of Ahmed, but that should be a little bit easier to do so far. As, uh, oh, as Kyle cuts the corner. You gotta be careful, Kyle, with the ghost cars. Um, I think that's one of the Red Bulls, actually, of Vitinia that's trying to get past Carl. Yeah, yes, it is. And I'll get the gap to interval up just a second so I can see the battles going on. There's going to be more battles on track now due to the fact that we got a sprint, pretty much a sprint race still to go. So I think the ones that could lose out are the ones that have got more than six seconds worth of penalty. So that'll be Vitinio, Tony... Pete, Lee, Ahmed and Mike. Iceman as well because he's on eight seconds. But I know there's certain people that could get their five second time penalty removed. Here comes. I thought I saw a battle going on up front. But I did not. And Hanos and Cliffy are just 
they're just a step ahead of the rest of the field right now. Even though Clippy did not get the best of restarts, he had a better restart than the guys behind him. Whereas Panos, he's just... I think he may have timed this right by not pitting, but we'll see as Cliffy is already getting a bit on him. So, you know, we, we, he can't become complacent around these, in these wet conditions because even if you're leading now, you've got to be leading at the checker flag in order for the points to count. <laughs> Vitinho now looks like he's getting quite close to Kyle now, but again, Clippy, um, I thought he'd be cleared of Panos a lot sooner than this, you know, because he's on the fresh set of wet tyres. But uh, going back earlier to the restart on Kyle, he sort of went off the track and then rejoined and then forced the Red Bull of Vitinho off into the grass. So I don't think Vitinho is 100% happy with that, but five laps to go, still anything can happen. Yeah. Still plenty of things that can go right and still plenty of things that can go wrong, as Maui Walker likes to say. So make sure you stay tuned into the end. Don't forget, if you do like our channel, subscribe to us at BSL underscore F1 and turn notifications on. And make sure you, you watch us live. I know some of you that watch it um, like I did uh, pre-recorded. Uh, pre oh, we've got to move from Patino on Kyle. Oh, we don't want the same thing to happen as what we saw with Deck earlier. But luckily, we did not get the repeat there. Oh, my God. That was the closest thing ever. And I think Vitinho is going to take the biggest risk ever. He's going to go for the send of dreams here. But Carl closes the door on him and decided to not um, leave the space there. And Carl's like, thank you very much. I'm keeping that position. As uh, Cliffy is lighting the timing towards the light. And he's already five That's temps behind Panos. He's found the grip now, the tyres are coming alive now, Panos tyres are now try uh, slowly finding the edge, the end of life, I believe now some 14 laps now on them wet tyres, we have a little bit of a desync, unfortunately, but uh, looking further down back, Mata still, was he 8 tenths behind Sam, so the way that's going, Mata will be on the podium, and Sam will go down to Peter, who's looked behind, as is that just a ghost car overtaking him? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a ghost car. And, yeah. and I, don't, I don't forget the top 11 are on the lead lap. And I think Pete has caught up to Tony as well. So everyone else from like P12 down was in a lap down. So that is why you'll see the ghost car. Maybe Mata has found a bit more grip now to try and get past Sam. He's looking very, very good. He's using his... Uh, overtake mode now he's got plenty of deployment actually so if i was him i would use it now but i don't be as confident to get past in this final corner so maybe turn one i think he'll have a try potentially hey, no he's binned it on the opposite side of the wall of champions not quite the wall of champions my friend if you want to bin it in the wall of champions it's the right hand side my friend oh uh, matter that, it happened in Baku. he lost the rear end and now he's lost it again here in Canada, what was it with that car recently with the rear end looking so twitchy? And uh, this is not what Mato wants in his defence title. Probably the most challenging title he's had to defend yet. Really. Yeah, we've seen a triple chat and he's cut the corner, so he's going to get a penalty. Probably a warning, most likely. I'm surprised he didn't get a 10 second for that. Yeah, but well, maybe the game's actually got some heart and oh, some sympathy. Oh no, Cliffy! Yeah. Cliffy's got another penalty. That could, that means that that's Panos' victory in the bag. Even if Cliffy gets past, he's got to be three seconds clear of Panos in order to win the race. So Cliffy needs to get a move on. Panos, though, close to getting another. Oh, Mike DNF'd. I think, did he retire on track or did he retire in the pit line? Tired in the pit lane as he was exiting the pit lane, so it's gonna be interesting. I don't know because when I was looking on the map, it, he retired in the pit lane. All right, okay, so. that's all right then. So hopefully, his AI car goes away as Panos and Cliffy go past it. As we do see the yellow flag, which is, yeah, it's, it, it is AI cars gone, so. That is good news for all of us. Three laps to go of this Canadian Grand Prix. We hope you're enjoying it so far. And we, we've, got, we've pretty much lost five drivers from this race so far. And I have to say, this is probably the cleanest can of races I've ever seen, apart from a few questionable incidents. But 
Lee is very close to being disqualified as Mata does get... Oh. Pardon? 21 seconds worth of penalty. I don't think I've ever seen penalties that high. Uh, Mexico oh, yeah. last season. Ah, okay, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think I can't remember if Mexico was a pre-season race or no. Actually, no, that was round one. As uh, Mata did pit as he wants to go for the fastest lap point, which, to be fair, that was the right decision to make. Um, he knows he's not going to fight for it too much, and uh, yeah, there is certain games that you struggle, and Mata seems to be struggling on that game more than anyone else. And uh, Cliffy, I think he just has to settle. For P, for P2 because even if he gets past Panos it will be so difficult just to gain three seconds in one lap I can't do it and I'm mm -hmm. most certainly that Cliffy can't do it as a we do have another penalty um, from someone I didn't see who it was what we could see though is Cliffy putting Panos under pressure and pressure Panos into making a mistake or cutting a corner Ooh. all it will take is one more penalty for Panos and then the race is on again but to battle that much Sam may come back into congestion with a three second penalty but the only driver without a penalty is Kyle so where, where could this put him this could actually maybe could it put him on the podium he could actually end up on the podium here if he keeps within close distance of Hayden so Kyle's kept it clean Ooh. and you know he, we can end up P4 at least here. Yeah, we could. He could be P4. Has Peter's got another penalty? He's he's on 15 seconds. He's got the second most of penalties at the moment. And I think this this track could award people with no penalties. And I think Kyle could be the one to benefit from it. So Kyle could get. I'm almost certain he could get P. He could get P. He could get P3, he could get the podium, yeah, you might be right. As Vitillo sets the fastest lap, so at the moment the fastest lap goes to him. Ooh. So he would get the amount of points for seven plus two, as the fastest lap point is two points. As yeah. set... We're on the final lap here, aren't we? Crikey. Oh my, oh, oh we are, I thought we were lap 34 or something. This race has flown by, but... I've never commented on the full work race in ages and it's definitely for a spanner in the work. Shame that Cliffy got that extra penalty because otherwise the battle for the lead would have been a bit more intense. But Cliffy's still pushing. He wants to go for the win on trap, but if I was Cliffy, I do not want to take any risks. So if I was him, probably stay behind and try and make sure the gap to Flexi stays within that eight seconds so he can keep P2. And uh, yeah, he's, he's picked his battles and the race is over him. So let's go on board with our eventual race winner. So Panos comes across the line and he is closing on into the championship. He wins in Canada. He's weaving everywhere. Cliffy in second. Flexi comes across the line in P3. Iceman in... Oh, Carlin. Yeah, we were right. So Kyle gets the podium, brilliant result for him, Sam 4th, Hayden 5th, Iceman 6th, Patino in 7th, no, Ryberry 7th, Patino 8th, Tony 9th, and we'll just see if Mata gets the fastest lap, according to the timings, it belongs to Patino at the moment, but it could be snatched at the last minute by either Pete or Mata, it's not going to be Pete, he got a corner cut. Oh, he missed it by two temps. So Bettino does get the two extra points. Yeah, well, I must say, though, Kyle, fantastic there in P3. But Iceman got that five-second time point during that safety car. Now, it could be a removal of the five-second penalty. We'll have to wait and see. But nevertheless, Kyle kept it clean, and he's gotten himself up there. So... There's no, they've got no head, whoever it is, in second place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was it was a good race as well. And I'm looking forward to the next one. And, oh, is it me or is the, the has the driver Kyle have no head? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I got, I was out, I'm missing, I don't know. Ah. <sighs> 
Anyway, we got penalty wins from Cliffy, Kyle, Flexi, Hayden, Iceman, Ryan Berry, Bettinio, who gets the two extra fast lap points. Bettinio from 14th to 8th, by the way. And from Ryan Berry, 12th to 7th. Brilliant stuff from them. Tony, Matta, Pete, and Matt Ryan get the final point scorers. And then we got Ahmed, Lee, who are lapped down. And your retirement plus disconnects are Risky, New Garden, Mike, Acorn, Maverick, and Kev. And that has been the Canadian Grand Prix. I'm just looking at the calendar to see where we are next. But I believe if we are following the calendar, I believe we're on a break week next week. I'll need to double check because I might be wrong. Um, I, I will check actually. I'll get the calendar up on my uh, OBS because hopefully the, the, the calendar is not updated. But yes, we're on a week break, I believe. So there we go. So we're not racing next week, but I'll need to double check that. So, But well, when we do come back, we will be at France at Paul Ricard. And we both raced there before um, in quite a few times. And uh, it is quite an interesting track in terms of track limits, but also there's hardly any walls either. So uh, I think expect a lot more risk in France when we visit it in just under two weeks' time. Mm, indeed, it's going to be interesting to see how the drives will feel after a refreshing break in uh, calendar. But it's to be fair for a right race, it was actually not a bad race, in all honesty. I'd, hopefully, next time we come to calendar, it will be dry. But uh, yeah, thanks for everyone for watching today's race. I fully enjoyed it. Yeah, and apologies about the technical issues, but Matt, Matt, Matt was still able to see the action thanks to my Discord, and the, and the stream didn't lag any time. So next time, if it happens again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Let's hope it doesn't happen to me, because otherwise we'll be completely screwed. But anyway, I've been Jess Gave ninety five. Matt has been Red Matt. We will see you next time for round number six. I need to quickly look at it there for the French Grand Prix. Goodbye.